So Thorpe, a bit of a relentless season, a bit of a few changes, especially for yourself in terms of job role. You've you've stepped into this role in sort of October time. Yeah. How's the season been now? Now that it's done, you've had a little bit of time to, to reflect on it. Yeah, it's been tough. You know, it's it's difficult sometimes transitioning into a new role. I, I kind of got thrown in at the deep end. I think you know that uh, with the game in the FA Youth Cup away at Shrewsbury, but. Sort of hit the ground running quite early. Knew a little bit about the lads, and I'd been at the club for probably a couple of months to get to know the youth team players and sort of see what I had to quickly understand and implement my own little bit of style and a little bit of my own beliefs on the way football should be played. But overall, I think we did. We kicked in. We kicked on. We did well, and. Uh, ended up having quite a consistent season overall. It was a tough start to the season just before sort of you joined and that when you come in there was that big bounce of a sort of winning game after game after game, went on a really good unbeaten run twelve games you just said to me there before. What was behind that? What you know, how did that come about? Was it do you take games game by game basis, you know, how, how did training look and yeah. everything to make that, that run happen? I think you you just Initially, you try and build on the good work that's already gone into the lads. I knew Brownie well. Obviously, I know Tony well, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm quite clued up on what Rochdale's academies have always been like. Uh, so, initially, what you do is try and build on the good things that other people have brought to the table and then implement your own little tweaks. My... On the, uh, as I got started and, and initially and really early, I understood that to start building relationships with the players from day one. They were a little bit down and they were a, a team that had suffered quite a bit just before I took over. So it was important that they got to know me, got to trust me, got to know that I was there for them. And, you know, I say it to the players all the time, I'll always be there for them and I think that was that was key really. I built good relationships early and we kicked on and did well. Would you be quite pleased with how the how the season panned out during those games and, and since then towards the end now? Yeah, really pleased. I, I I think up until the last couple of weeks I think we had four games in ten ten games at the end of the season where we suffered a little bit because we played the two top teams and off the back of good performances against them, we didn't really do ourselves justice in the last two games. Uh, but that was probably the only blip, I thought, throughout the season. We seemed to hold consistency well. The players, I, I kind of knew what I was getting every week, you know, and I think uh, on form from probably November till the end of the season, we were one of the better sides in the league. And the fans will will be aware of quite a few of the youth team lads, especially you know when they've come and watch them in maybe a few of the games, or even at the the game we had up here in the FA Youth Cup against Fulham. Um, but more so on the lads who have appeared in the first team this year, who they'll be more aware of. So Kev DeSantos, Oscar Kelly, mm -hmm. um, Darren George, and obviously Brooklyn yesterday yeah. on the bench. How pleasing is it for you to see to see those guys appear in the first team this year? Um, on a sort of level of, you said you knew them even before you took the manager all season lads that you've, you've seen develop and then feature for the first team. Yeah, and I think it's important to sort of say that they're, they're some of the younger players within the group. Oscar and Kevin have been, since especially since I took over, have been consistent. They've been consistent. They've played games of football in sometimes two, three age groups above because it's an under 19 league. They've done brilliant for me for their age and that will sort of embed them. As soon as they come back in full-time football, they'll have already had more or less a season of it, so it's been brilliant for them. Uh, George and Darren have gone up on merit. Darren, especially at the, at the start, um, was on a good goal-scoring run. We'd converted him. Well, I converted him from sort of a left-winger into a striker because I felt that he had the assets to be able to do that, especially with the way that I wanted to play. Um, with you know th three strikers, um, Darren was the obvious one to convert to the central striker, and he he did brilliant. Uh, scored a lot of goals, uh, contributed really well. Then possibly had a little bit of a dip in form, which 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 I'd expect. 
in, uh, for his age. George, our captain, been consistent all season. Um, in the first team on merit, in my opinion, you know, real sort of leader. Um, he's improving all the time, George. I, I, I think George has got sort of a real good chance of um, breaking in, hopefully, in, in the not too distant future. And then there's Brooklyn Bailey, who sort of gone into the uh, first team environment quite quickly at the end of the season. Brooklyn's a great lad. Needs a lot of consistency now, so I understand because I, I've been in that place myself where sometimes your first year you can struggle a little bit, but you can come into your own in the second year and we're hoping that that's what will happen with Brooklyn. We have a lot more consistency of training, a lot more game time, so should aid his development. And those five as well as a number of other of the youth team lads who have been in the team this year, they've, they've been to the first team training, I've seen them there on, on the Thursdays when I go down. How important is that for them to be within that environment and how does that even affect it down to your guys like when you're playing in the Youth Alliance League or any sort of club related to that? How does that first team experience help you guys? Yeah, it, it, it helps because it's our aim, you know, uh, in terms of when players are being invited to the first team to play. It, it can have different effects. It can affect the group sometimes in a negative way. It can affect it in a positive way. But for the individual, it's always positive, you know. For for me as the 18s coach, I've sometimes got to manage um, players that feel a little bit unlucky that they've not gone up, um, and that can be difficult at times. Sometimes it can affect you, the structure of your tra training sessions and your your week because you're without some of your important players. But ultimately, for each individual, it's definitely positive, and they seem to come back um, flourished, you know. And just touching on players more, sort of focusing on, on one here, a player you sort of missed probably quite a bit of, especially before Christmas and early this year, Oscar Kelly, when he got his Northern Ireland call-ups. How pleasing is that to see one of your lads get sort of international recognition? Yeah, and sort of Oscar's, um, I think he, he, he did struggle a little bit after the first period away on his international break, but we saw sort of a lot of improvement in him as he as he sort of got some consistency back within the group. It's difficult for those lads because they don't train with us on a daily basis, so they sort of like having to make an impact in games. They train with the 16s and then all of a sudden they're playing for me. Um, yeah, so Oscar's a real talent, scores goals. Um, we have missed him when we haven't had him because he offers that goal threat. And um, yeah, he's a Rochdale fan as well, so it's always a bonus. And now, said the season's done, what does the next sort of few weeks and months look like for you and Tony and the rest of the academy staff leading up to, to the next sort of season? Yeah, I think sort of the break's going to do us well. Uh, coming towards the end of the season, it can, you, you know, it's a 40 week season, it's, it's quite tough. Uh, the games at Youth Alliance level, come they come round thick and fast and then if you've got games that you haven't uh, you pay, play catch up towards the end of the season. You have to cram a lot of games into a short period of time. Uh, we didn't really have anything to play for because we were out of the cups, and um, you know, getting ourselves up the league was the most important thing. And I think we did that well. I think next season, what we've got to look to do is that's that. I'd like to be a little bit more successful next season. So we've got a plan early around trying to do better in the cup competitions getting ourselves up the league um, because I think with this group of players this season and possibly the ones coming through next season we should have a chance to uh, definitely build on the position that we got this year and uh, yeah it'll be tough we, we start the season early July there'll be a lot of planning over pre-season thinking about what we're going to do in terms of the fitness um, getting the players conditioned for the start of the season, a lot of team play, you know, instill our identity and the way that we're going to look, assess the players so we know what, you know, little things like what's the best formation to play and how we can develop each individual within that and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the start of the season.